Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Pops Review and I'm just wanting to do another video more so about the gameplay of the X9 game player and some of the games that are on it. Uh, I know some people are wondering what games are on it, what games can you play, and I just wanted to give a, a little sh short quick demonstration of the different games. I, I have another video about um, some of the things that it features with this X9 game player, but um, I wanted to do more for the games aspect, so uh, yes, this is another video concerning the games. So, um, for those who are, uh, first off, I just want to say on um, purchasing this uh, that I have uh, a PSP, I have a PS Vita, uh, a Game Boy Advance, so I have um, better handheld systems that feel better in your hand. Uh, but for me, like, you know, I know there's mods for, you know, a PSP and a PS Vita, but for me to, to buy this system, um, which I got off Amazon, um, uh, it, it, to have, you know, the ability for over a thousand games on one system without having to mod it or do any kind of updates and whatnot, I could just, uh, take it, you know, games wherever I want to go. Uh, some of these retro games uh, I thought was just a cool idea, so... Um, you know, this is not the best system. I'm not saying it's the best system or anything. No one's paid me to do it. This is, I'm just giving a review of what I thought this is, uh, as, you know, a good system to try out, you know, like to, to play on the go, to play retro games. Um, and, uh, again, you know, some of the sounds might not be right on the system, but I think overall, uh, gameplay wise to be able to play games like for me, like Tecmo Bowl and Mike Tyson's punch out and, um, you know, all these Super Nintendo games that I never played or, or had, I had a Sega Genesis, so to be able to play the Super Nintendo versions of them is pretty cool. And, you know, 3D, um, not 3D, but uh, arcade games, uh, Neo Geo, the, you know, Capcom games, arcade games, like, this doesn't play MAME, just to let you know, it doesn't play MAME, but it does play arcade games like the Capcom and Neo Geo games. Uh, so to play those games on the go is pretty cool. Like, I... I was able to finish uh, Aliens vs. Predator, The Punisher, and I had never been able to really uh, play those or finish those before. So uh, to be able to save it and play it on the go, I think, is a pretty cool thing. So anyways, let's have a look at the different features here. Now, here you can see there's the different games that you're able to play just right from the uh, face menu here. And then you have uh, 3D arcade games, which are just pretty much not 3D, but arcade games, Game Boy Advance, and your games. So you have, uh, this system is able to play um, CPS 1 and 2 arcade games. And when I say CPS 1 and 2, like it, for sure most of the CPS 1 games and then the CPS 2 games, it doesn't play a lot of the, the fighters like the Marvel vs. Street Fighter or Marvel vs. Capcom or any of those games, but it plays Aliens vs. Predator, Battle Circuit, um, some of those other, um, the fight, the... Uh, the side-scrolling fighters, the beat 'em ups, it plays those, but the the, the Street Fighter type games is, doesn't uh, doesn't go on the system, or it doesn't play very well on here either. So, um, but I, let's take a look at what games they offer now. If first of all, we'll go into the Game Boy Advance here screen. So we'll go to the directory list, and here you see a list. Now it says there's 12,400 games. Um, there's, there is 12,400 games, but a lot of those are duplicates uh, going over and over kind of thing. So you'll have your first few games here in the Game Boy Advance, and then uh, it'll go back. It'll go back in a loop. So I'm, we'll see uh, what does it come up to here. Let's we'll do a quick count. As you can see, there are a lot of Game Boy Advance games in this menu here. Um, we're in the S's. Let's quickly go through here as quick as I can. And I guess probably, probably from the the triple X there, maybe it might be, might be coming back to the duplicates. Yeah. So around around here. So around maybe 137 games of Game Boy Advance. So I'll just play, I wanna show you like guys quickly of like each um, emulation here, how it runs. So here's a game that is just awesome on Ga Game Boy Advance here. Uh, this is Astro Boy Omega Factor. So let's see how this plays. So 
Sorry, Nintendo. Okay, so Sony Pictures. Uh, Sega. Uh, this is just an awesome uh, game on Game Boy Advance. If you never played this game, this is cool. Let's start. Let's put normal. I don't know if you guys can see that good or not here. And this is, you know, Game Boy Advance graphics. I, I don't, you know, I don't notice any. It looks to me the same how I remembered it on Game Boy Advance. So, so this this game, if you know about it, it's kind of like a side scroller beat 'em up. There is like leveling up aspects in this game as well. It's a really, really cool Game Boy Advance game, and the graphics for this game are pretty cool. So there you see Astro Boy, you can have him on. they give you a little quick tutorial. And I'm just hitting the buttons here work for this. They give you a quick tutorial of how you know how how to get through things here. Um, so here you see Astro Boy. It's a nice scrolling beat 'em up type game, and and with like like I said, leveling aspects to the game too to make Astro Boy stronger. And when you see some of the backgrounds in this game, it's pretty cool. So yeah, so this is this is this is Astro Boy. Uh, if you've never played this, this is a really really cool game. And you fight all these different kinds of enemies, and you, yeah, it's it's gets off the charts here. Uh, so I'll just exit out of this. Enough of this tutorial here, but you get the idea. Uh, another game on here. Um, I'll show, you, I'll show you a couple games from each category as quickly as I can here. So maybe do they have the, here Guilty Gear? Here's another. Here's a really good fighting game. Good graphics on the Game Boy Advance. Um, and don't mind the lines here. Like the screen on this is really really good. If it if it looks like there's like lineage and stuff, there's not. It's just uh, maybe the the camera filming, my camera filming on here, but. Uh, This, the screen is really, really clear. So we'll do arcade. I've never really played this game much. <laughs> so let's take her. They give you the instructions on how to use her. And we'll, we'll see how I do. As you can hear, the sounds on this are loud. You could you could adjust the sound. Oh, he finally decided to fight back. So as you can see, it looks looks good. Looks looks like how Guilty Gear looked on Game Boy Advance. And this guy's just letting me beat the crap out of him. So you get the gist? So it looks great, right? Game Boy Advance. And it sounds great. Okay, let's get out of that. Okay, so like I said, probably a hundred and something Game Boy Advance games on here. They become duplicates after a while. Um, so you could have a look at that on your own time, I guess. Now let's look at... Um, I'll get to the Neo Geo games in a sec here, but I wanted to show you guys the Sega Mega Drive games. Now it's not, they're not Genesis games on here, they're Sega Mega Drive. And when you load them up a game on here under SMD, they have to have the file extension .SMD, otherwise uh, if you load up Genesis games they don't play. So it has to be a Sega Mega Drive game. 
Now, the only problem I have with the Sega Mega Drive games is that the button commands, they don't work. So it's only like, there will only be one button that works on this thing and the rest of the buttons don't for some reason. So it kind of makes it unplayable, even though the games, like, as you can see, they show up on here, like they, they work, but... Only one player, I'll take the Conan guy. Okay, so let's see. So as you can see, I'm hitting the button here. But if I if I hit any other buttons, they don't work. It's just the one uh, Y button that works with the with the game. There should be okay, and then his magic. But he should be able to he should be able to jump as well, and that you're not able to do that command. So it kind of makes it a little unplayable if you're, you know, if you're wanting, like if you don't mind attacking and using your magic, I guess you're able to play it. But if you want to do jumping, you're not able to do that. Okay, so that's what I mean, like the commands aren't, um, not all the button commands are here. Or let's go to another one here. Um, let's do, okay, let's. Like the Justice League game is very unplayable because only one one of the buttons work. Let's do Gunstar Heroes. So I know it's a popular popular game. Let me get through this here. So looks looks good, you know. It looks great to me. My opinion. Okay, so let's see what let's see what happens here with the gameplay. Okay, so can I jump? I'm hitting the different buttons here, and I can't. I can only fire my weapon. I cannot. I cannot jump. I can aim it up, but I can't. I can't do any other jumping and whatnot here. So again, if you want to play, if you're just able, you don't mind attacking. But when you, if you have to jump, you can't jump. You can't do any other commands. So that kind of that kind of that kind of bites. But I mean, that's you know. That's the Sega Mega Drive. That's only for the Sega Mega Drive games. The rest of the other systems, the other emulations, they work just fine with the button commands. So let's look at the Famicom. Okay, so um, I'll just go to a couple of my favorite games here. Now you know there's a bunch. There was a bunch of Famicom games on here. There's 665. There might be now. There might be a few duplicates here, but um, for the most part, uh, I wiped out a lot of the duplicates here. So, um, so yeah. So it's pretty much you know around around probably I would say 600. Let's say 650 games probably of, of Nintendo. So let's look, let's let me show you a game here that Nintendo probably doesn't want anymore. If, I mean, and they when you buy this thing too, it also gives you um, a little leaflet to tell you like what sites you could get the ROMs from. I don't want to say what site. I don't want you know I'm shutting it down or anything for other people. There we go. You guys are familiar with this game. Looks and sounds just the way I remember it. <laughs> you put in the famous code to try and fight Mike Tyson if you wanted, but we'll just start with Glass Jota for demonstration purposes. But to me, with this system, it shines more, like really good for a Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Okay, 
Good old Glass Joe taking the beating here from Little Mac. And down he goes. That's me, that's like how it did. Oh, big the big super punch. Boom. Oh, you got a shot at me? So as you can see, play it plays fine, the, the buttons work fine, looks looks like how it did on, on the NES. Alright, I'll try one more game here. Let's try, let's try Mega Man 2, we'll see how that, how that goes. I know the sounds don't sound the same like how we did on the NES, but but it's playable. Makes a little blink point. But what can you do? I'll try a Flash Man just for playing purposes. This is one of the only games too, like where the sound is, is not really the same. Um, as it was on the uh, NES, but still playable. Guy, he jumps, he shoots. Stage is still the same. This is one of these games too where you're gonna you're gonna take damage in this game. So I don't know if you're like if you're a game connoisseur, you know this maybe this this type of system isn't for you. Cause it's not the way you remember it. All right, so you guys get the gist. The Nintendo, NES. You saw some Game Boy Advance. If you go through this one, there's 127 games. Um, a lot of them are duplicates. There are some one. There are ones maybe that aren't on the other list, and vice versa. So it's good to go through. Um, and these ones too, if you wanted to erase them, you could uh, through your, um, you know, if you hook it up to the computer, you could erase it from, you know, the, the file. So then if you wanted to save memory that way, you could. But the other, um, the other on the, the home page, on this, the home page here, uh, the uh, Game Boy, you can't erase these games and neither games in here. Okay, oh, uh, I wanted to show you guys quickly the um, Super Nintendo games too. Because this is where, this is where this thing shines too, is for the Super Nintendo. Here's a game, uh, I had some cousins that liked, they liked uh, Super Soccer. So let's, let's see it, let's see how it plays. Oh, red card! This guy's gone right off the bat. Sorry, Belgium. He is done. There we go.
Well, as you can see, plays well. Look out. What a save, what a save. Showing a lot of sports games. Uh, let's see. Another game that plays really good on here. If you if you like the old uh, running gun arcade game, this is totally like running gun, but on the on the Super NES version. Quickly, sure, it'll be Portland. Well, are, well, this game, I never, I never really heard about this game. Um, I played it, but when I saw it, um, when I saw it on one of these reviews, I was like, hey, this game looks pretty good. Shoot! Yeah. I'm not too sure about the controls yet for this game. Look at that, wow. Man, Marley. Wow, Tomahawk! There we go. What a shot! Alright, so you kind of, and you get the gist of that too. Um, Super Nintendo games play great. The commands are great. Uh, okay, so you kind of get the idea for Super Nintendo. The Game Boy Color games work great. I don't know if I have to go through that with you guys. Um, you know, you can check that out. The card, um, people asking if I could, you could load Neo Geo games on here. Um, there's there's a lot of Neo Geo games already on it, but there's there's some that are missing, and you could get them on. I could put them on the card here. So like, let's say like this three count bout, alpha mission, Andrew runs. So let's look at one of these shooters maybe. Let's see how they play. Okay, so there you gotta, you gotta load the quarter in so you hit the right shoulder button. Press start. And a little bit. As you can see, it looks plays just fine. You could use the analog stick for this game. This is a game I'm not too familiar with either, but... So you get the idea. Uh, another game. Let's look at. Uh, 
like a uh, battle circuit. This is a kind of fun beat em up. The CPS. One. Now these games I had to put on the card on the on the the micro disc card. Battle circuit. This is like a fun uh, zany kind of beat em up game. Got these kind of funny characters. Charlie is alien. This is a game I'm not too familiar with with the beat em ups, but um, totally, totally fun game. Heard nothing but good things about it. And of course, you know, you could exit out and you could return it. This is kind of like your pause button. You can return back to where you were playing or you could save the game. And again, there's like six different slots for saving games, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, so I have 23 games on my uh, memory card. Baseball Stars, uh, Capcom Sports, Dungeons & Dragons, 